10.54 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, what we have is an intraday chart of a three-minute market maker buy and sell print. We have a very strong movement off of this bottom, so each 16th is 35 pennies, so it went one, two, slightly below three. But now let's take a look at it. The IR is at above 85, and you're printing back up to 0.16. This was positive quarter delta, 3.719 is equal to $1.31. That's what it was on the highs of the day. And within the shorter price time frame is how the electronic bot system works in the electronic communication networks within the overall exchange model. Why is that important for you? Well, for the following. You're going to have to know which way that price is going. It's descending. But then it comes down here and the high frequency algorithms that generate buys and sells in milliseconds, they take it up one teeny, two teenies, almost three teeny script, which would put us up, up right here where this triple diamond reversal was. So mathematically, what we're looking for is where the following would read that this has to drop below 85. This number here, 16, has to drop below 10. And this number here, when it prints 17, we can see live here in the market right now that the price slightly prints up. And what does that mean? That means here is the bid and the ask ranges of Amazon. And Amazon is printing up here 52 by 57 pennies in the bid and ask range. So this is the major area right now, and the time is 10.56 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 7-9-2013. So what we're seeing is that we're coming right back up here, and this is the time frame, and this is the mathematical movement, and that this IR is at 93. It has to go above 94 for it to go above this teeny valuation line. So what we're looking for, MMTs, is that these diamond reversals right here in that three minute bar is where you'll come back up and then how would you we would look to see if it fails or not and how would we verify it? another red bar has to occur right next to the green bar to verify it right now we've come up exactly one teeny two teenies so that's two sixteenths three sixteenths is a script and 3 sixteenths times 35 pennies is that short-term movement right up here to that resistance level. Now, what we're going to look for is where this number here, the IR, would fall back below 75. That the electronic bot system that you're going to be trained with here in with live entry and exits is going to be the most important thing is the price range who is going to sell more or buy more buy more or sell more it doesn't matter the high frequency algorithm is a mathematical script let's get it straight and within that mathematical script you have to be right so there's that teeny resistance but it's strong that's resistance but it's got meaning that the name right now and the price is strong right below that resistance level and so this thing can break out to a hundred here this 0.18 which is higher than it was one minute ago at 1.7 you just need to know this is about price discovery everybody and when you're trading calls and puts that the algorithms control the call side of the market they also mark down the they mark down the put side of the market when they keep ascending the values up, the bigger those price levels get driven down, the bigger the buyer you would have to be. So about price discovery, 93, you're printing 19, you're printing back up toward 0 0.24. So there's that resistance line. It's going to be these three diamonds. What are they? They're the following. Those are the exact things. They have a bot, buy and sell system in the electronic communication network system and it records the math in these diamonds there's info panels in each one of these and they represent how strong the price is this one's strong he's printing 19 
spread of seven cents. He's going to come up here to these diamonds. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a look at one thing right now is that the IR, here's the bid and ask. Here's the IR, 94. Here's the current trend ratio. It's printing 20. So when we started this live area of showing what the price would do electronically is to come all the way back up here. This is the actual mathematical script value of 1 16th per line that is before us and the truth before us and the discovery of the price is also before us. So as a market maker, you want to know which side has the bigger balance. And when is that going to hit that wall of resistance? The red bar, you have to have a red bar like we're getting now, but it's not big enough yet, but it would have to be just as big as this last bar. And it has to break below that, that, that teeny line here. But more importantly is a half bar. The half dollar value of this bar is because what that is going to be 291.64. It's right here. It calculates it for you. You should be able to see it in the video down below the gauges here. 291.64. That's this half bar, and you got to go below it. You got to break down just the way that you mathematically went up. But you can't verify that until this here is breaking back below 85, then towards 75. So it's elevated at the price, which means it's very strong. You want to always be able to know how to identify. Is that price weaker between the two parties or is it stronger or is it getting, you know, one of them are going to make a change here. And this is a live entry right now. It's So what are we really teaching you how to do? You make it when the price goes down and it's confirmed when diamonds are going that way, but mathematically. So you have a script. You have one teeny, two teenies, three teenies, four teeny script here. He never made it to five. And what is a teeny worth? Well, we already know. It's four times 35 cents. That's the value. But you have to have a red bar, just like we are now live, to verify that the price volatility would have close to the equal mathematical distances in both directional price movements. One is descending for the short side, and the other one is ascending and then descending again. And like I said, here live now, this is that you have to break the half bar, and this is live in the marketplace. Here, let's take a look at the bid and ask. But you see, you got to break the half bar, and that's 291.64. So is he breaking it? Let's take a look. Nope, he's 291.57 by 291.66. So he's not breaking this half bar yet. Yeah, so what it says, Red? You still got to break below that. And we're right there at the bid and ask of that half bar because this is where Amazon is right now. It's 291.62 by 66 pennies. But you don't have a big enough reversal bar. You have to go on the reversal side. You have to go below the half bar. And the half bar is this one right here in the short term. And that's 291.64. It's live right here. Right down here at the very bottom of the application. It does it for you. So the thing about it is... Is, is that we're not getting fuller confirmation because this is not dropping below 85 yet. And we need to have that range below the half bar. That's 64 pennies. And he's above it. See, here's the, here's the market maker app. This is the next teeny up. Another 35 cents he's working on in the range. So what I'm going to say is that I'm going to put a short out right now into a day during this price and if you get involved in the free five-day trial get involved in the free trial how do you do that go to trading just click on something like this open an account simple the page will load get started today right here and just click on that and go through the procedures if you're really interested in this business remember a lot of traders in the world today are hurt with the pattern day trading rule and whatnot. Uh, we never made those rules, but they are rules. But once again, you can get buying power here and the direct access platform that is right behind you. So what I would say to you, if you want to learn everything, 
go to services click on HFT courses and then click on iTunes for $9.99 watch the ghost exchange we're in the movie and not only are we in it we gave a, a, our good amount of guidance to it and that's only because we've been involved in markets and you need to know what the technologies are powering these markets has evolved at breakneck speeds and change accelerated they, accel get, they can accelerate in price in both ways up or down it doesn't matter it's all high frequency so the only way that we can ever gauge that high frequency model and you need to watch that movie it's an hour and 20 minutes long at least you'll know how to be able to relate to me and then if you want to come in and be a market maker get some trading capital you're welcome to do that by all means so we encourage you to understand that under the services tab that you can go to the uh, live trading room there it is and there's a free five-day trial as well go to meeting download instructions okay so there's videos here um, we used to use hotcom back in the days um, we found out though that we can save our clients money by using GoToMeeting because you have to pay for the hotcom one so stockmarketfunding.com you learn all about everything that we have to say when it comes to making markets and you can see 98 IR and he's 23 now and you can see how the price is going up there was no reversal confirmed yet other than he's at the high end of the mathematical range and what end is that well here let's take a look at the price again he's 291 by 80 by 87 pennies that's what he is and the value of those high frequency models and individuals but there's not as many so he's one fourth delta he's 17 pennies away that's 291.97 if he goes up here to 3 eighths delta that's where I'm going to put my short out that's 392.66 so what I'm going to do now on the DOS platform is I'm going to put 200 shares just up there at that price I'm going to go back to the price here it is he's got that resistance there's that red bar he's still 93 IR but I'm still gonna put it up there I'm gonna watch both Delta trees right now he's below 1 4 Delta but 3 8 is 292 he's 96 pennies above there what I'm going to do for now is I'm gonna watch the 291 97 that 1 4 Delta that's what I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch that value relative MMT to the current price and it's right there to the penny so he's below it he's below 1 8 Delta and how do we know it's very simple it does the math for you he tells you how many pennies below the 1 8 it's minus 0 0.49 pennies you have to see a reversal like this so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to put a short out there on 200 shares now and I'm going to put it up there at uh, 292, 292 point, let's say in this case, it's going to be 67 pennies. And I'm going to hit short right here. Bam. Uh-oh. Rejected. Why? Here we are back in the, so 1 and 1, 8 is 291.28. That's the value of that particular 1 8 value and we're 291.66 by 291.83 what does that mean is is that the short itself has to go out there at 282.00 no, let's say 2 so that would be 82 pennies by 28 so we would make it a total of so we'll go right here so make that that point
What? Invalid price. These people are crazy. Why is that happening? That cannot happen. So, that was EdgeX. The hell? These freaking routes. I'm trying to help someone else over here. Just give me a second. So, there it goes. All right. Here, control all print. This asshole. So, there is a mistake there, and I'm not sure what it is. Let's read it. All right, so. Um, how many shares short? So, here, let's, let's just put this right up here, and let's go back to the video. I'm on pause. So, the routing system, MMTs, it's very important to understand that a lot of things can happen in the routes. So, uh, sometimes in the tape, Depending on which one in these routes, let's try BATS. Let's see what BATS has to do here in a minute. We'll put the order out. But the order goes out at the price level that I talked about. And here is the Amazon reversal. And we're at the 49 penny mark. We know exactly mathematically where we're at because we did went through a bunch of price groups and was talking to another party on the phone there. So if you were listening, that's just part of the video. I'm sorry. But nonetheless, uh, 291.5 right now. So it's all algorithmic. That's what it is. And that the next resistance level is 292.66 in our system. That's the upside from here. However, that's 292.66. That's 38 deltas. That's a $1 and 2 pennies above the market. That's what's above the market. So when we put the limit order out there, we put it up there at that mathematical equation. That's 3 8 and it equals a certain price. That's the second resistance level in the actual price channel ranges. High to low within the last, let's say, 20 minutes of this live trading video with live people in the free trial and people that are on our other systems and other traders that are listening is that you know how to calibrate that price level and what it has to do to verify it where you're taking out all the speculation and what if the math will not lie to us period and one thing about high frequency algorithmic programs today is that a whole slew of people have written different things we have a way of watching all of them because it tracks their buy scripts and sell scripts and then it also tracks the strength of these buy scripts and sell scripts and that will be the conclusion 
how to make money as a market maker both ways in the equity market. Not only that, <coughs> we make markets also in the option pit. And so what I'm showing you here is that the 295 puts at 6.25 by 6.4, 722 on the close, but it made a high of 8.65 and they marked it down. Look at here, 260 pennies. That's $2.60 down here to that low. Okay. And that means that the range, the more marked down they get, the more wholesale they are. And I can show the different difference in the mathematical spreads on the Amazon right now, I will do the following. Right here on Amazon, if you take a look at the 290 put, you can see the bid and ask ranges. And you can see in this column here, the percent change column, They that's the percent level they're marking down, MMT. That's the side that we're forced to buy because the call side is up at its highs on Amazon right now. And so the whole put side of the market on the percent level has been totally marked down. That's for the option pit. You'll have to go sign up for that to get to know me. Spend a couple days in here with me. This is the side of the market here that is the cheapest markdown. And right now we are reversing. So let me pull up the MMT platform right now just remember one thing about reversals MMTs is the following and let's make sure that we're clear on it naturally we will be okay so when I said that you had to have reversals earlier as making a market maker because you were here through the whole stretch and one thing about what we said was how do you get paid this side of the market and then mathematically the system and the bot system and the high frequency and the algorithms go up to the top of the diamond where I said early on that that would be the major wall of resistance to the reversal. Then what would be the validation of it? The following. You must have a full teeny reversal and you have it. And what is a teeny value? We know what it is. It's 35 cents. And how would we know is that over here, like earlier in the video, we clearly stated that this side of the market, watch, this side of the market right here, it's at 81. It's below 85, but not below 75. No, this is only at 0 0.11. It was just up here at 0 0.23. It did not break the ratio high of 0 0.24, which is almost one quarter delta, which equaled 3.79 teenies, which also equated into dollars of $1.31 pennies. That was on the high print of the day. And one of the things that reversals have to do is they have to break the half bars as they have in price. So once again, the time is 11.18 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 7.9, right smack in July 2013. What's it about is that we have not confirmed the reversal that we're really looking for, except for the teeny value down. That this number here, as it drops, that's why these bars drop in the ratio. And it's 10 by 12 up here. If he prints 10, well, then that bar will go red, but it's not. So he printing 12, which is one half of that total range as of 11.19 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7.9.2012. That diamond and the body close below it, that is a mathematical change, but this here must go below 75. I'm going to conclude once again it's it's it would be okay for me to spend some time with you so that you know that the math is always going to be true and that it's the directional movements of that math that you're going to make your buys and sells on and thereafter is that you can learn that you be a market maker in the equities and a market maker in the option pit get ready for it now so I've gone through the whole thing this whole process and there were other reversals on the opening bell today because we know by taking this right here, we can see here what happened. 
this was the intraday morning reversal straight down to double then you popped right up all these teenies and you came right back down this is what the opening bell looks like right here we hit the bottom he pops up so many teenies he rolls over he tests it the ascending diamond value is going this way it's consolidating 35 cent ranges and you can see that you got a three diamond breakout in a bar it comes down look at those bam he goes up that's where we're at right now and we're right in here right now so the thing about it is it's all mathematical and it's 35 cent value get signed up now